Das war's schon. Das ist das Playste Buffen. And welcome to the requested review of April of 2022. Yeah, this video would be up much sooner. I recorded much sooner. It's now May 17th as of the recording. But was it insane? The first week or so of May. But that's because the rest said to put that the better. Anyway, our person is a very cool guy. He's a friend which I made recently and He's one of my most trusted friends. He made me realize the errors of my ways much faster than anyone would have back in 2012, for example. And I appreciate that about him for sure. He was brutal with his criticisms, but he's still a good friend since I learned fast because of his brutal criticism. Now I decided to do something for him to thank him. That is, of course, reviewing the documentary series about Kanye West. Listen, I'd be lying if I said that I have a lot to say about this. Because I honestly fucking don't. I will be talking about this documentary anyway. So this documentary is basically about Kanye West. And the documentary is called A Kanye Trilogy and it's on Netflix. If it feels like I'm rushing this video out, trust me, I fucking am. Maybe because of what I said earlier, this is long fucking overdue. And I need to get it off my chest as soon as fucking possible as it should have made birds fucking sooner. Alright, but enough about that. Let's talk about the actual documentary. I must say, I find it very fucking interesting. And I can tell that Kanye West was a big influence and fought a lot for freedom of speech. Honestly, I didn't know much about Kanye West before I saw this documentary, besides the fact that he's a musician of some sort. Now I know a lot fucking more about him, and I have to tell you, I fucking respect him. And I also like a lot of the footage being shown in the fucking documentary. I can tell this is a documentary, not a movie. And for a documentary, it really fucking works. But honestly, I'm not used to reviewing documentaries. That's why this video is so fucking big. And honestly, there's nothing else I can think of to say about this fucking documentary. Except for perhaps nitpicks. But I want to avoid nitpicking as much as possible, as I want this to be a legit review, not one full of nitpicks. Ignore the nitpicks, there isn't anything else I can say. So overall I'm giving this documentary two thumbs up. It was definitely worth my time. Well guys you reached the end of the video, thank you for watching, have a great day.